welcome back to the video. If you guys are new, my name is Mike. So today we're picking up another car from Japan. It's not exactly a sports car this time because this one is already kind of sold in a way. But I just figured I'd show you guys what car it is. So let's go ahead and pick it up. We just got the papers and it's all ready to go. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, no worries. We'll probably be there within maybe before two hours or so. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, man. I've been waiting for so long. Yeah, for sure. All right. I'll see you soon, man. Thank you. Bye. The next mod for the Evo 10 is finally here, boys. I can't wait. Oh, we just are on our way to pick uh, the new car from Japan. And afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the next new mod for the Evo. Guys, I've been waiting for this for so long. I can't believe it's finally here. I think I ordered it like approximately like a year ago. So it's been super, super long. This is probably the rarest piece from Japan that I probably own on my Evo because I haven't seen any other Evo, Canada or the United States, even on Instagram, I haven't really seen any Evo with this part on it. So I can't wait to show you guys. All right guys, so we're here. There's no other JDM cars around here though. So we're like the only ones I think. But we got a CRV for, I think this is a first gen. Looks pretty clean, it has like under 50,000 kilometers on it. Minor stuff here. The paint's pretty good. This is pretty common since this is like a really old car. So this car actually is pretty freaking sweet and it has a B20. So it's like a two liter four cylinder natural aspirated engine. And it also is, of course, a manual. It also has a flare, a real flare, which I'm 100% keeping because I don't think I can sell a car with a flare. Everything's super, super clean. This is kind of cracked up and broken, but the car still thinks it's in Japan anyway, so this is gonna have to be changed anyways. I like how they made the hazard light red. I kind of want to do that to the Evo. Just scare my dad, see how, how the horn sounds like. <laughs> it's so cool, it has a this little table here that folds down. I don't know how it folds, oh, there's a, there we go. Little lever here, folds up and down. Now that we picked up the car, we're gonna go ahead and go straight to Speed Factor and pick up new mods for the Evo, which I'm so hyped to show you guys, I can't wait. It's such a cool little car. Another really cool thing about this, the CRVs, I think that the first and second gen is it has like a table built into the back, like a picnic table you can just bring out. It's just sick. But maybe I should get like a CRV. What do you guys think? That'd be sick. Comment down below if I should get a CRV. Now we gotta open this box. All right guys, so this is a really, really long wait. I probably waited over a year, close to a year for this hood. It's a carbon fiber hood. Came all the way from Japan, it was handmade there. And I don't think there is any other Evo 10 that has this hood that I've seen on Instagram. All the guys that have it are from Japan. So that would kind of make sense since this is like a local brand in Japan. Kind of like Varus, but more low key. But I'll finally show you guys this is the Garage Very Evo 10 hood. They kind of styled it here, just like the FQ400 um, that came out in Japan and Europe, I believe, which these um, vents here are more, I guess they're larger, I'd say. And they also added this cooling vents on the side, which I really, really like. And it's the only, I'm the only one in my city that I know of that has this hood and probably in Canada or Manitoba, I haven't seen another Evo with this hood. So this is insane. And I also got the matching trunk as well, which is basically like an OEM replacement trunk, but it is also made by the same brand. The reason why I got the trunk the same brand as the hood, other than getting like a Sabon, is not only is it lighter, and betterly made, but the weave, the one by one weave looks insane. It also has um, the rain guards right here that are made of fiberglass inside. So this is a super, super rare hood. I, I can't wait to put it on the car. But before I put it on the car, I need to get it clear coated just so the gel coat on the carbon fiber hood doesn't fade and crack over time with the sun.
I just can't believe the hood is finally here. Too bad that there's still snow outside so we can't install the hood quite yet. But like I said, the hood is going to need a clear coat or a ceramic coat just so the original gel coating doesn't fade because I would hate to see this piece of art just fade. So I want to take care of it. I want to make sure that it doesn't get damaged in any way. Also, this hood got me thinking if I'm spending this much, I'm going all like JDM parts with this Evo. I might as well order another like Japanese wing to put on the this trunk since we're going to need to drill into it anyways. So if you guys are interested in my battle arrow wing, DM me and we can probably work something out. My Instagram is at Anti Perfect Society, and also a huge shout out to Dave from Speed Factor for hooking me up and helping me out with this part because this part I know isn't easy to get. Those guys at Speed Factor even told me that they haven't ever dealt with this brand before, so it was really a first for them. It's a first for me, and it took forever to get here. I'm just hyped on it actually being here which is just insane but yeah we're gonna go and head out to a shop and see if they can clear coat this or maybe they can fit us in sometime so when the snow melts the hood can go right on it right on the evo as soon as possible because i can't wait to see it you guys are probably anxious to see it as well but oh it just looks so good i just can't stop staring at it damn All right, so we are obviously here where the Evo is stored. I know I said earlier in the video that I will most likely be selling the Battle Arrow Wing. So there's someone coming to take a look at it. So this might be the very last day or the very last video that the Evo looks like this with the red trunk and the red hood with the Battle Arrow Wing because I'm already uh, in the works of getting a different wing for the Evo. So guys, don't worry, there will be a different wing on the Evo. It'll be a better wing. Yeah, dude, I've been rocking this wing for a year and I just love the way it looks. It's just so wide. I like how it's a little bit wider than the body. So just in case you do want to do a wide body, there is enough room that it'll still kind of look good. But this is, this is the last time the car's gonna look like this. Things keep changing with this car which is obviously a really good thing um, where the hood and trunk is currently going to a paint shop sometime next week to get cleared. Same with a bunch of other carbon under the hood, which now that I think about, we should probably take off right now. But uh, all of my carbon is going to get cleared just so it's more UV protected under the sun and uh, nothing else kind of like fades. Once they're all out of the paint shop and the weather's nicer, we'll be able to install the hood, trunk, and the new wing. So if you guys know your JDM parts, you probably know what brand I'm already getting. Hopefully the deal goes through and we'll be able to get a new wing on Ariana. It is a new day. This video has been filmed for the past three days or something. It's a three day vlog. Anyways, the wing sold on Ariana. So as you guys can see, Ariana is wingless and the Evo without a wing just looks so weird. It looks like a normal Lancer almost. It just looks so bare. This car really needs a wing. But as of right now, my dad and I are gonna go ahead and remove the carbon fiber under the hood here. So this radiator cooling plate, this intake manifold cover, and this spark plug cover as well. We're all gonna get the carbon fiber cleared just so it's kind of UV protected. The gel coating on the carbon fiber doesn't, doesn't fade or crack because unfortunately, I think, I don't know if you can see it, I think it's somewhere in one of these corners that this piece started like bubbling or like it turned a little yellow so at least with a clear it's gonna it's not gonna happen again i'm gonna try my best to uh, keep these in the best condition possible all right guys so we made it home Hopefully soon we'll be able to install the hood and trunk as well as the rest of the carbon fiber bits. I just have to wait for the paint shop to let me know that they have space for me. They said to give them about three days and then they'll have it all done or something like that. So once it's all done, of course, we're going to go ahead and install it. But that is all the time I have for today. I am so, so excited 
to put on this hood. I've been waiting for it for so long. Again, huge shout out to Dave at Speed Factor because he's the guy who helps me out with um, all like the Japanese parts and stuff like that. So definitely if you guys are in Winnipeg or even I think Speed Factor ships, um, he's definitely the guy to talk to in terms of any parts, JDM, stuff like that. But that's all the time we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and join the Anti-Perfect Society. Peace out and make it happen.